Previously on the Coach Kevin Keefley Show. I feel like I've been in a car wreck and I'm sore all over, but it's awesome. Very true style of play. It'll be the most exciting brand of basketball in the state of Kentucky. The bottom line at the end of the day is we get him on the phone and see if he wants to uh, play basketball yeah. and, and, and make a living. And if you don't want to make a living and uh, make a commitment, it's no different than work. So, ah. Thanks, coach. <laughs> I'm Jillian Vickery, and I'm the coach and choreographer of the Diamond Girls dance team. Secret compartment with the swivel. Right there. Keep it going. Keep it going. As you can tell, we went with pretty much the same design. It is the same design. As you can see. I mean, he's a tough coach or whatever, and that's what, that's what you need that, to develop a great basketball team. And um, he's very enthusiastic, and that's one thing I love most about him because, um, you know, he'll let you know how he feels. He gets everybody involved emotionally, physically, and everything. So, I mean, that makes, a, that makes for a great, a great basketball team. Hopefully tonight, uh, this is the launching pad. And, uh, you know, I'm excited that, that this is, we're in the locker room, and this is where memories are made, and, and we're getting ready to play some basketball today. And, and uh, you know, soon we're going to uh, be ready to play in front of our fans uh, here in a couple days and this is special for Eastern Kentucky so I'm really excited about it. This is what it's all about here. Basketball is very best professional basketball here in Eastern Kentucky and I'm proud to be a part of it. Look at Josh Pace early on making the play down low, finishing strong with the hoop and the harm. Well it's the first basket, first home basket ever right for the Miners who Pace takes it to the hook. Gary is working his mojo right now. We'll see. Can he know. do it? I don't know. I, I'm a little bit nervous right now myself. Check it out. Wow. No chairs involved. All four people are living. The question is, how do they get back on? All right. Personally, it looks like they just rolled out of bed, but there. Hi, I'm Nikki Alexander, a.k.a. Hoops. And my New Year's resolution, just like every year, get money. Uh, they're known for pastries, Derek. Uh, I didn't know that, but apparently they eat a lot of pastries with gravy on it. I found that odd. You look so pretty today. I thought you looked like an angel. Oh, uh, uh, yo, it's like I'm underwater. The surface is frozen. Uh -huh. I'm searching for broken open holes because I feel chosen. Uh -huh. Weighing my pros and cons. I know the road is narrow, but I'm being chased with chariots of Pharaoh. You guys put up a CBA record 194 points. To come away with a 194. A 115 victory. I promise you we're going to put the most exciting brand of basketball uh, uh, on, the, on the Expo Center floor uh, right here. And we're going to do it right here in the state of Kentucky. Most exciting brand of basketball. And we'll be a big part of, uh, of Pikeville and Eastern Kentucky. And when people come around this area, they'll, uh, they'll know that, uh, that the Miners are, are Eastern Kentucky's team. Welcome into the Coach Kevin Keithley Show. I'm Derek Forrest, alongside a man who does not look like he just rolled out of bed. Coach Kevin Keithley, oh, well, Coach. I, 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 Derek, <laughs> I appreciate that. You know, 20 pounds heavier. But the great news is, Derek, not only are we on WYMT, but we're streaming live on WYMT.com all across Kentucky, all across the world. So make sure everybody's checking us out now, Derek. Well, I wasn't going to mention the fact that you were 20 pounds heavier, but uh, yeah. you are. You gained some weight in the off season, but <laughs> you know, we'll, hopefully you, you talk about uh, running the team. Hopefully you'll run along with them. Do yeah, we'll join in. in the we, Expo Center. we had Jay Feeder last year running <laughs> stairs. I'll jump in this year and make sure we get back into uh, TV shape. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Coach, uh, just what, what are some of the things you've been doing in the off season? Well, we, <laughs> Tara, we, we have stayed extremely busy from, you know, from the time the season ended, we've uh, been at it. And uh, whether it's been recruiting, whether it's been looking at players, whether it's uh, uh, all over the uh, state of Eastern Kentucky and, and ported causes that we said we would do, uh, uh, community events. Uh, we've been a part of uh, uh, certain causes, uh, child abuse awareness, uh, food drives, things of that nature. So we've been all over uh, uh, throwing out first pitches. Derek, you was out there for a 15th region <laughs> tournament. We've been all over. So there's been a lot of things we've been doing, uh, staying busy. Big thing is, is getting ready for this season, though. I understand. And uh, you had a draft a couple of weeks or, you know, about a month ago. Mm -hmm. You signed a couple of uh, big names. We'll get to those guys a little bit later. But uh, without talking about those guys, how do you think you did in the draft? 
I think we did really well. We've got a, uh, we could assign probably four of those guys, and uh, that's what you do with the CBA draft. You uh, turn over every stone like we talked about last year and look at the guys that best fit your system. And, and you know, I think we're doing a good job because it really shows, Derek, uh, the NBA really looks at what we're doing evidently because the D-League, uh, right after we held our draft, went ahead and drafted four of our players. So that kind of shows you what uh, we're doing. Uh, speaking of that, though, Marcus Hurd, who we drafted last year, was drafted in the NBA D League, so I'm happy for him. So it just goes to show you, we're, uh, I'm pretty happy with what we did. Uh, we signed uh, Emmanuel Little, a 6'5 uh, swing man. He's going to be coming in here, uh, here, here soon. Heard, where is he at now? What, uh, Heard, what D League team is Heard, he for? Heard went to Reno, and uh, hopefully he'll make that squad. And I believe he's got an NBA body. We talked about that last year, and he definitely has the NBA shot uh, from NBA range. So he, if he uh, is mentally focused and stays mentally tough, and that's the whole thing I said to him last year. He, he, he can get it done, Derek. All right. Well, we're going to get back to business at the beginning of the second quarter. So that is the end of the first quarter. But coming up on the Coach Keith Lee Show, the Miners signed a, ho a high-profile talent. And guess what? He once played for a Kentucky National Championship squad. <laughs>